Hello. I was talking to a client yesterday who I helped to start a business and his business is doing pretty well. It's not profitable yet, but they're starting to grow and have some success. And he's really trying to figure out, should I raise money from investors? He really doesn't feel like doing it. He, he feels like, oh, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at selling. And also, I don't want to have to sell out. I don't want to have to, uh, you know, have my investors pushing me to do things I don't want to do. And also, I just don't know, you know, I don't think we're ever going to blow up. We're really more like a consulting business. We're not going to grow really big. So why would anyone invest, you know? And so he's thinking, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll raise money by, um, you know, having a sister charity and trying to get charitable donations. Or maybe I'll just work harder to just try to get the business to be profitable. But guess what? I haven't paid myself at all since I started my business and I'm getting really tired of it. And I can't believe how much we've achieved on such a shoestring, you know, and so, so many entrepreneurs go through these questions. I mean, a lot of entrepreneurs don't even think about raising money. Probably the only reason he's even thinking about it is because he's my client and I always encourage my clients to think about it. So, um, so what I shared with him is a few things. Um, Number one, if you've already um, had some success in your business, even if it's not profitable yet, but you're starting to achieve your mission, you're starting to see some, some people getting excited about what you're doing, then that means you're doing something that is attractive to people. And just like it may be attractive to your, uh, your customers, it can also be attractive to potential investors. So uh, you have something that's attractive and if you, if your business is starting to become successful and eventually, ha, you know, has a pathway to be profitable, you can pay investors. And there are ways to pay investors without growing really big. You know, if you eventually become profitable, you can take some of your profits and pay a reasonable return to investors. And as I've said many, many times, there's so much evidence and data that show that the vast majority of investors are not just looking to invest to make money, they also care about having a positive impact with their investment. So if your business is having a positive impact, you should be able to find investors that are interested. And then in terms of the whole thing of like, well, I don't know because I don't wanna give up control, I don't wanna sell my soul, you absolutely do not have to do that. There's People sometimes get an image in their mind of who an investor is. When you say the word investor, they think of someone who is going to be, you know, forcing them to do monthly reports and pushing them to achieve certain goals and demanding control. Um, but not all investors are like that. I mean, I've raised money five times. I've had dozens and dozens of clients raise money, and we do, we never do it that way. We always raise money in a way that allows us to stay in control and, and our investors stay pretty passive. They don't have a lot of involvement in what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't have any control and they're just excited to, to let you run your business. So this is just a very short summary to help you just open your mind to the possibilities. Maybe raising money is the right thing for you, even if you thought that that it wasn't um, because you had beliefs about what that would look like or how hard it might be. The whole issue of, oh, I'm not good at selling. Well, you know, in sell, talking to investors is a, this sort of a type of selling, it's true, but it can be a very heart-centered conversation about the mission you're trying to achieve, your excitement about the future of your business. It doesn't have to be some kind of hard sell or you, you know, having to make promises that you're worried you may not be able to keep. So I, I'll talk more about that uh, in other videos, but I just wanted to see if, uh, if I could convince some folks to even consider the possibility of raising money from investors. There's a lot of steps to it. There are some legal things that have to be dealt with when you do raise money from investors, but I hope you'll at least consider it as an option because it is so empowering to be able to have money in the bank to cover costs in your business, like paying yourself a salary and doing a really great job on marketing. And it just, 
it becomes a virtuous cycle where your business becomes more and more successful because you have the resources you need. And then that allows you to not only pay yourself and your, your employees, but also have your investors make a return on their investment. All right. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye.